Welcome to my channel, my name is Attila and this is Masterpiece. This video will be a little bit different than you normally used to. Unfortunately at the end of this video there will be no finished art piece. So the idea with this video would be I have found a really nice, really interesting piece of wood completely free but the middle is rotten, completely gone and uh, I put it into the microwave for several hours and I burned out all the water inside. There is no moisture whatsoever. It's light. It's fragile. I am going to use resin for the first time ever and I am going to stabilize this piece of wood and hopefully when I have done that I can turn this really special material into some kind of crazy artwork. mustard piece so this is the piece of wood you can't deny this is certainly a very interesting piece and this is burr here but as you can see inside is completely gone rotten and I am going to try to save this one does it worth it no it doesn't it's going to cost so much money for me to try to save this one but for a video and because I have never done anything like this I am going to try to do that but I know one thing you cannot just pour resin on top of it and hope it's going to work that's not going to work like that it's just going to set on top the middle still going to be rotten fragile no way you can turn anything out of this it's not going to work like that i am going to show you how to do it how how i think it's done so what do you need for this to work you need a piece of wood i think this is pretty self-explanatory you also need resin but not just any resin this is 3d resin that means you can pour it thick, really thick and this one is going to set in like 6-7 days so you only use this one if you have a purpose for it and one more thing you need I think this is a must this is a vacuum chamber and I think you need to have vacuum for this I don't think pressure will work but I never tried it you need all three things to make this one work so these are the pieces I am working on right now so by the time this video is out I probably already published all these but I don't normally multitask and uh, yeah now i'm working on three different projects at the same time and i don't normally do that so hopefully it's going to turn out just fine so these are half finished right now but you probably have already seen this anyway these are half finished okay here we go let's do it let's start to prepare the resin So this is hardener, resin and hardener has a 2 to 1 ratio, so 2 parts of resin and 1 part of hardener, try not to spill it. now mix it mix it for a long time I'm probably going to use blue as a base color and later I will use orange or red So this is 2 liters of resin inside and this is 15 centimeter tall 
and this lever should go down if we are successful so I'm going to put this one on top and I put this one in and this should just stuck and now I am just going to make the whole thing wet Everything goes in so here is the lid this uh, it broke under pressure so I, I fixed it I literally just cut a new one from a piece of acrylic used resin and glued it to the bottom and now I have a much thicker piece and this one holds very well to connect the airline close the red one open the blue one and it should be good to go okay here we go So it started bubbling like crazy and that's what we want See? It's white now So now we just stop it close it and just let it sit for a while and then we release the pressure I mean kill the vacuum and uh, hopefully the resin goes and just displace all the air that was in so that would be the goal and that would be the technique we take off the air and put resin in place of the air so I don't know how often do I have to vacuumize and let the air go back in and how many times so I'm probably going to do it more often than I have to so it was literally like five minutes let's uh, let the air in and see what happens I guess and then we just continue like I probably do it like 20 maybe 50 times let some air in Okay, so do it again. Unfortunately, the resin started to set a little bit sooner than I hoped for and I had to remove the piece from the bucket off camera. It was four o'clock in the morning so I didn't feel like recording it. I uh, poured the resin 15 centimeter tall and it started to set in like 18 hours and I think that's pretty good result for 15 centimeter tall resin. Uh, so let's go from here. I was able to put in 30 cycles and I think that's more than enough but when I woke up 4 o'clock in the morning to check on it it was already set I mean it's still sticky to the touch <laughs> So 
now it fits into the container and uh, we can pour the second color on it. Let's do it. For the second layer I am going to try this color. It's pretty much like a, it's called maple but it's pretty much like a orange gold combination metallic. Uh, let's try this. This is almost 24 hours later and air is still coming out. It just <laughs> doesn't stop. I don't understand where the air is coming from. I probably sucked off like 30 liters of air already. Just doesn't make any sense. And it's not hot, it's not making air, so the epoxy is not hot at all. It's coming from the wood. Yeah. Here's the thing, it's all set. It's here. It's a big solid block. It's about five kilograms it costed me about 50 pound so that's why you don't normally see people stabilizing big chunks of wood because it's costly so it is all done it took me like probably like eight days ten days to make this one and I don't know what I am going to make out of this but this piece deserves my full attention so I am going to design something crazy something that I'm really happy with and I am going to use this piece for making that into a reality so stay tuned for this because when I use this piece it's going to be something special if you want to see some art check out my previous videos you will find many that you probably haven't watched and thank you for watching and i hope to see you on the next one